Hello, Taurus, Sun signs, rising signs, and moons. This is your November Taroscope from me, Kim at Expressions of the Universe. And the month is starting off with a Mercury retrograde in your opposite sign. But I've got six decks of cards, and I'm doing extended readings for all of you for this month to get us through it. My focus is on the full moon in Taurus, your full moon, at 19 degrees on November 12th, and it's in the fifth house, which is the pleasure of the senses. And isn't that what Taurus the bull or the cow is all about? This is about good food, fine chocolates, fine wines, Egyptian cotton sheets that we can just slip into fuzzy slippers, everything that is comfortable and enjoyable to Taurus. Getting out into nature and exploring and immersing ourselves in the pleasure of the senses, the beauty of the season, the sound and smells of the season, beautiful music and art and flowers and plants and, and trees. I just absolutely love, love, love this Taurus new, uh, full moon because it will help us offset the Mercury retrograde. Now, the retrograde will be focusing on 11 degrees Scorpio, which occurred around the weekend of October 11th, 12th, 13th. So I want you to go back and think about that time because that's what we're going to be having to go over again um, if it was a great time for you which for me it was wonderful then well then that's going to be great we're going to focus on that and if it wasn't so great we're going to view it look at it and discard it on that full moon we also have the new moon in Sagittarius at the end of the month on November 26 at four degrees which matches the four degree Scorpio new moon so this would be about us innovating our lives, thinking outside of the box, trying new things, finding our place of belonging, and trying to find a new tribe uh, from now until 2020. Now for Taurus, this is about the pleasure of the senses. So I want you to indulge, but don't overindulge because I know Tauruses could get a little bit out of hand with that because they enjoy things so much. Now your crystal card of the month, it's aquamarine and that really kind of goes with the Scorpio season because this would, this is typically a Pisces crystal, but aquamarine really talks about getting to the heart of the emotions with Tauruses being so earthbound, we, we, I'm not a Taurus, uh, Tauruses, Taurus sun signs, rising signs, and moons often do not like to look at their emotions. And this month will be about you healing some emotions. You want to take a look at them, especially with the retrograde being in Scorpio. Take a look at the emotions that you have buried down, that you have dug down into the dirt and buried them and said that you were done with. You want to bring these up a little bit, heal them, move on. Your animal totem is saying time to collaborate and it is ant totem. And I love ant totem because this is about teamwork. This is about camaraderie. This is about co-creation and getting together with your friends or other people that you can really mesh with and creating something that is wonderful. Teamwork makes the dream work. Your healing card. It is passion ignited. Now this is in the reverse position. So this retrograde is saying that you may be short on passion, you may be short on fire, that's okay. Because for this retrograde, you're resting, you're rejuvenating, you're recuperating, you're recalibrating 
so that when the sun moves into Sagittarius, you will turn that around and you will find some new creative ventures. I feel that, <clears throat> excuse me, for some of the Tauruses, with this being in reverse, life could seem a little dull right now. You feel, some of you may feel that you don't have a whole lot to live for, nothing to look forward to, um, nothing new has come about. But I can guarantee you, once this powerful full moon in Taurus hits, things are going to turn around for you. If not, probably not that day. Um, but the Mercury retrograde will end on November 20th and it will be out of its shadow December 2nd. Jupiter will also be moving into Capricorn. So I think things will start to pick up for the Taurus sun signs, rising signs and moons after that time. Okay, let's see. Oh, I love this. And this is perfect for the Taurus full moon. You're getting the map maker of destiny. And this is authentic purpose, inspiration, and free will. So see, once that passion ignited turns around, the map maker of destiny is showing up. This is saying that you're getting ready to step into your destiny. And that's why I love this full moon for you little bulls and you little cows. This is going to be a wonderful time. This is going to happen after December 2nd when Jupiter moves into Capricorn. Your destiny is going to be set into motion from then up until your birthday period. All right, so the final card before my mini reading, it is orphaned and it's in the reverse position. This is saying that a lot of Taurus's sun signs, rising signs and moons could be feeling left alone. They could feel abandoned at this time. This Mercury retrograde is bringing this out. Try not to focus on that because that's negative energy and it will affect the map maker of destiny that is coming for you. You want to keep your spirits up, keep your thoughts and your words pure and positive. Um, orphaned reversed is also saying that there could be um, a small loss at this time um, coming between now and the end of the month. Um, but it, with this card being in reverse, it won't, it may feel devastating, but it won't be absolutely devastating. I just think that the Mercury retrograde is amplifying our emotions, especially with it being in Scorpio. All right. I've already shuffled these cards to save us on time. And the first card that's coming up, it is the Five of Air. And this is talking about current strife and difficulties that are affecting your thoughts and your words. You're not able to communicate the emotions. And that's okay. You may want to journal about that. Um, this is These are arguments and words flying back and forth. Not so nice words, I should say. So let's see, where does this, um, put my glasses on. Now I love this next card. So are you putting yourself down mentally? This is what I'm thinking because the Empress is showing up and this is very much a Taurus card to me. This is like Mother Earth almost. This is about honoring yourself and putting yourself in that empress or emperor position, if you are a male, um, this is about treating yourself like the queens and kings that you are. But that five of air is saying that, you know, there's a lot of negative self-talk. So for you to be abundant, I feel that um, you need to clean up your mental act. 
this is also the card number three. So I'm thinking about body, mind, and spirit and getting grounded, going out in nature, grounding yourselves, becoming uber present in the present moment. Stop thinking about the past. Don't look too forward, too far ahead into the future. Come into your center so that you can become abundant. All right, so we have the nine of earth. It's in reversed. Now, typically in a, in a traditional tarot deck, this would be um, sorry. I just had a I just had a, a mental block. Maybe it's Mercury retrograde, but this is saying to me that some Tauruses are you're worried about the finances. Um, I think that this is just all part of coming towards the end of the year. I feel that you are working very hard and not getting enough reward from it. This is also a possibility of uh, jobs ending or changing or the need to find a new position, find a new company to go work with or to start your own company. Not this month while it's retrograde. Wait until Capricorn. Yeah, and so I'm also picking up with that nine of earth reversed is any kind of negative self-talk, putting yourselves down, feeling that you're not enough, that will keep the abundance from coming to you. Remember, the full moon this month is in the sign of Taurus. This is a time for you to shine. All right, so the Queen of Water is reversed. This is um, either a person who is Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer that is having a negative effect on you. This could also be negative emotions because of this Mercury retrograde in Scorpio. So... We need to turn those around. This is Taurus is going really deep within their souls and finding buried emotions and bringing them up to the surface. I'm going to give you until November 20th to, you know what, not even that. When the full moon comes on November 12th, if you need to go to those depths, do it now and discard it by the full moon because it will not serve you. All right. The six of air, it is in reverse position. This is saying that, um, once again, because Mercury is ruled by air, this is saying your thoughts are going in the wrong direction. So now I also want to point out that these cards are going to resonate with most of you. Take what resonates, take what, you know, sounds like it belongs to you, such as the crystal card, the animal totem card, the map maker of destiny. But there's somebody out there that these negative emotions and negative thoughts and words and that are going to resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, then just discard that. And the final card for the Taurus sun signs, rising signs and moons, and I love this. It is the star. This is my favorite card in any tarot deck. The star brings us hope. It gives us something to hold on to. And this is saying that the star will be shining down on you. So once we get through these next couple of difficult weeks, everything will be turning around definitely after December 2nd when Jupiter moves into Capricorn, which is a sister Earth sign for you. So just sit tight. Everything will be okay. But please just hold on to hope. Stop the negative self-talk. Focus on this gorgeous, gorgeous card and know that everything is going to turn around. But you have to turn your thoughts 
around. You have to turn that internal voice around. And I guess that that should do you. Um, if you like this video, please share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel because that helps me. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, obviously YouTube, and at expressionsoftheuniverse.com. Give me some thumbs up and you feel free to comment me. Let me know what you think about this, this video. I'm wondering who it is that I was picking up on. So until December, little bulls, thank you so much for watching.